to get hit on the head with a morning star. Still, it beats Next. sixth period being knocked from your horse by a ballista bolt. Yeah, and third period French. Yeah. Guys, guys, you have to see this. It's amazing. It'll curl your greaves and make your breastplate buckle. It'll rattle your helmet and vibrate your van braces. It's, it, it, it's magic. Come on, before it's too late. <laughs> Okay, let's go. But what about Sir Fuddleby? How will we escape his ever vigilant, watchful gaze? Lance, that was pathetic. Now stand up and try again. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Get your folks, lovely folks, get them while they're hot. Schmed, it's a man selling some sort of pronged stick. It's not a pronged stick, it's a fork. Oh, they look dangerous. They're not dangerous, they're, they're forks. Look how forky they are. Check out the smooth fork action. Someday, in the future, the fork will revolutionize eating habits and bring about a renaissance of thought, and there shall be peace throughout the land. It will never catch on. I can't believe we skipped class for some silly cutlery merchant. Let's get back before someone catches us. Halt! Right there! The Sheriff of Nothingham. Oh, and look, I've gone and spilled ink all over Chapter 408. I'll have to start again. I never thought you sorry lot should have been allowed into Metalhead's Academy. It's not a place for girls and peasants. <laughs> When I graduated from there, class of 08, Metalhead's Academy was a noble place for, well, nobility. And now that I have caught you playing truant, I have what I need to get you all expelled for good. I think my father, the Baron, is more likely to believe the word of his daughter over some measly sheriff. Yes. But I have hard evidence. <gasps> A tapestry of incrimination. After my after lunchikin's nap, I shall show this surveillance tapestry to the Baron, and you shall all be expelled from Metalhead's Academy. <laughs> Why is no one laughing? Because it wasn't funny. Now, if you want to be funny, you should do something like this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now that's what I call comedy. No, this is comedy. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, thanks, Mum. Just trying to help with the act, Sam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Busted by the sheriff, about to be expelled from Metalhead's Academy, Bob in the stocks. Ow! Still, it was worth it. <laughs> 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 
Look, we have to get that tapestry before the sheriff can show it to my dad. I could challenge the sheriff to a noble duel. Brown is big rubber bag, boots. Drusilla could. The place in public. Eat the tapestry. Wood of wood. And the sheriff. And Brutito. And the castle. Oh, I could turn that tapestry into gold and use it to buy forks. Glorious forks. Okay. So it's down to me to come up with an answer. Simple. We'll just sneak into the sheriff's quarters, steal a tapestry, unpick it, then sew a new scene which proves our innocence. Um, Liddy, we're not innocent. Don't argue over technicalities, night boy. Now let's go. First, we have to get past the guards. Don't worry. I shall summon the guardians of the dragon's breath to cast a beguiling enchantment upon the watchers. All I need is some twine and this fork. Behold, Ted, a glorious sight. Tis a fork, an enchanted fork. Run, Drusilla, run! Oh, I'll... <laughs> I'll bring the fork. Oh, Get it, Ted. Get the magic fork. Oh, Schmed, one of your ideas actually worked. I'm almost impressed. Now let's go. The sheriff's holding on to that surveillance tapestry tighter than thumbscrews on a wretched traitor. Take it from me. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to remove the tapestry, we must replace it with something exactly the same grains in weight. It will take expert timing on the hands of a skilled barbershop surgeon and... <laughs> It is time to save our membership at Metalhead's Academy. Lester, the scissors, please. Scissors. Needle. Needle. Thread. Thread. There! I've done it. You finished already? No, I just unpicked part of Bob's left foot. That's all you've done? Well... I never really got the hang of embroidery. It's so boring. You only ever get to do flowers and birds and stuff. And never dragons tearing apart burning castles as Lady Liddy the Brave strikes them with her fearsome almighty... What? What's going on? <laughs> Go to sleep, little sheriff. Go to sleep and have mean dreams. Dream of dungeons, dream of cruel punishments, and be happy in your world. Yes, Mummy. No, I didn't take the rabbit. No. At this rate, we'll never get the tapestry done in time and we'll all be expelled. Now, give me the needle. Don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> you can sew. Well, it helps me think. Shh. 
Sheriff. You have made grave allegations against the Lady Liddy and her companions of the gutter. Skipping school is a serious misdeed with a serious punishment. He's very strict. <laughs> You're telling me. Do you have any evidence? Indeed I do, my lord. I have here a tapestry of surveillance. Behold! Look at it! Look at it closely! Commit it to your memory! Closer, my lord! Do you see? Do you see? What do you think of that, my lord? <laughs> Nothing! Um, it appears to be a tapestry of you wearing only your underhosen and dancing with the fairy folk in a veil of flowers! You have caused Lady Gruff to faint, and you've put me off my supper banquet. Guards! Take him away! You know, we really should be in class right now. Are you jesting? I wouldn't miss this for the world. And besides, who's going to know? <laughs> 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 <laughs>